हेलो गाइज आई होप यू आर डूइंग रेली रेली वेल टुडे आई हैव विद मी सैमसंग गैलेक्सी टैब एस नाइन एफ ई प्लस एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू फोर्टीन बेस्ट फीचर्स फॉर दिस टैबलेट सो लेट स्टार्ट The first feature is about multitasking. So here I open my Samsung Notes and I use my S Pen for hand written notes. Now for example I want to open a website I will take out this edge panel then I will open this internet browser in split screen. Now for example I want to open this website about brain anatomy and here I want this image in my notes. So I will use my S Pen and then i will press and hold it like this and then i select this option of clip subject from background so once you select this option only the image part will be selected without the labels now i will use my s pen i will press and hold it like this and i can easily drag it into my notes and here if you want you can also edit it you can crop it and then if you want you can also highlight it as well same way you can also bring the text from a web website into your notes so i will go back from here and then i open a website and then i will show you how you can bring the text for example i open this website and here i have this text now i will use my s pen and then again i will press and hold it like this and then i will start selecting the text so for example i select this text now i want this text into my notes i will use my s pen press and hold it like this and here you can also drag it into your notes like this then if you want you can open another app in the split screen so i will take out this taskbar and then for example i want this calculator app and then i open it here in the split screen now for example i want to do some calculations and then here i want these calculation in my notes as well so what i will do i will use my s pen i will press and hold it like this and i select this calculation and then i will use my s pen again i will press and hold it and then i can also drag it into my notes like this the next thing is you can also resize these apps in the split screen and if you want you can also rotate these apps as well so here you can see i can easily rotate them the next thing is you can also bring these apps in pop up view so select this blue bar from here just press and hold it like this and then you can easily drag these apps in the pop up view like that and then for example i want to bring this app as well in the pop up view again i will select it and i will bring it here like this now if you want you can also change the opacity of these apps so for example i want to change the opacity of this app i will use this blue bar here is the opacity icon and i can easily reduce the opacity so i can see the notes behind the next feature is about samsung ecosystem so whatever i copy on this samsung device it will also be available on my samsung galaxy tab s9 fe plus for example i will take out this edge panel and then i will scroll to the clipboard so here you can see the clipboard is currently empty now i will open a website on this device and then i try to copy this image so i will press and hold it like this and then i select this copy image option the image is now copied and now it is also available here on this tablet now i will take out this edge panel and here you can see the same image is now available over here you can also use this image for example i open my notes take out the edge panel use your s pen press and hold it and you can easily drag the same image over here in your notes the next feature is about screen recording for example you are watching a video or you are having a lecture and you want to take notes in the meantime use your s pen button just tap on the screen two times like this it will open the samsung notes and here you can start taking your notes now you can see this note taking app is blocking the view behind so what you can do is just select this blue bar select the opacity icon and from here you can reduce the opacity of this samsung notes so here you can see the video behind and you can also take your notes as well 
The next thing is if you want to do the screen recording of your notes and your video, you can also do it. Just bring down this quick panel and then here you see this option of screen recorder. Just select this option and then select start recording. So after this countdown, your screen recording will start. Now you can take notes and your video will also be recorded. You can also use this pen tool from the screen recorder if you want to highlight something important in your video or in your notes. You can also turn on the front camera. So here is the front camera option. You just select it. So here you can see the front camera is now turned on. So this will be really helpful if you want to make some kind of lectures or some kind of presentations. You can also use this cursor option as well. So here is the cursor. So you can highlight anything important in your video. Once you finish with your screen recording, you can select this stop option and your recording will be saved in your gallery and later you can share it with your students or with your colleagues. The next feature is about video pop-up view. For example, I will play this video. So now you can select this pop-up icon and it will open in pop-up player and you can move it anywhere on your screen. Now, for example, you want to take notes, open the note taking app and you can also resize this video and you can take your notes. Now, if you want, you can make it full size. And then if you want, you can also use your finger and you can easily drag it in the pop-up view like this. So now I can bring it like this. Now, for example, you want any object from this video into your notes, you can also do it. For example, I want this object in my notes. So I will just pause the video. I will use my S Pen. I will press and hold it like this. And then I can easily drag and drop it into my notes. The next feature is about book reading. So you can use this Moon Plus Reader app and here you will get the real page flipping experience using your S Pen or you can also use your fingers as well. If you want to read for a longer period of time, you can use the Eye Comfort Shield option. Just bring down this quick panel and here you see this Eye Comfort Shield icon. Just press and hold it like this. It will open the Eye Comfort Shield settings and here you can turn it on. Now you can also change the color temperature from here. So here you can see I can increase the color temperature and this will be really helpful if you want to read for a longer period of time. The next feature is about digital planning. So you can use the Penly app and here we have these amazing digital planners. So here you can see we have different tabs and buttons. You can select any month from here and from this side you can select any date and on top you have to do list option. Then you have notes option. Here you have different templates available. For example, I select this template and on top we have different tools available. So you can use the pen tool if you want to write something if you want to use the highlighter so here is the highlighter tool you can also create hyperlinks to your handwriting as well use this selection tool and i will select this handwriting and then I select this icon and here is the link option. So once you select this link option here you have a web link option available here you can write the URL. For example here I will write samsung.com and then I press ok. Now I will go back and then I open this note again. Now if I just tap on this handwriting it will ask me if I want to open this website so I press ok and then it will open the website using the hyperlink. So this is really amazing. The next feature is about S Pen. So guys, this S Pen has a lot of functionality. For example, you open a website and here you want this text into your notes. Use your S Pen and start selecting the text. So for example, I will select till here. Now I want this text into my notes. So here is the add to note option. Just select this option. The text will be added to your notes. So here you can see all the text available in my notes and it is also showing me the link for that website. You can also use smart select tool if you want a specific part from your website. 
so i will open this air command then i open this smart select tool now i will use my s pen and now i will start selecting this part of uh, the website so i just select it now here you can see the part is now selected now you can copy it you can pin it to your screen you can also add it to your notes as well so you can do all your editing you can also use s pen to text option for example i want to search something on google i will just select it and then i will use my s pen so here for example i want to search about human anatomy so i will write with my s pen it will convert it into the text and then i will use this search option and here it will give me the results on google you can also use the screen off memo option for example my tablet is locked and i am in a hurry and i want to write something important i will use my s pen button and i will tap on my screen so it will open the screen of memo and here i will start taking any important information and once you finish you can also save it and this will be saved in your samsung notes the next feature is about note taking so you can use the good notes app so guys this app is pre-installed in this tablet and you will get the pro version free for one year now for example if you want to take notes so you can select this new tab and from here you can select quick note option and then it will open new notes for you and here you can see on top you have different tools available for example i select this pen tool and here you can start taking your notes you can also also use this highlighter tool then you have this shape tool so you can also use the laser tool as well i made a separate video about good notes you can watch that video the next thing is you can also use samsung notes so inside samsung notes we have a different shape tool so you can create different shapes we have different pen options then we have different highlighters options available you can also use s pen to text tool so now whatever i write with my s pen it will convert it into the text you can also do pdf annotations select this attach icon select pdf and then you can select your pdf file for example i want this pdf file i press done now here you can see all the pdf is available now i can do the annotation on this pdf file i can use the highlighter tool if you want to make some kind of shape you can also create different shapes and then if you want you can also write text so here is the text option so here i can write on my pdf as well the next feature is about this book keyboard cover so you can use this keyboard cover for tab s9 fe plus and here at the back side we have this flip stand you can move it to any position and then we also have this cover for s pen so you can take it out like this and then you can put your pen here and then you can cover it like that and now if you want you can also use the samsung dex so here are all the keys available so for example i want to open desk i select this fn and then i press this dex so here it will open the samsung dex and in samsung dex you will get complete desktop experience so here you can see you have your apps available here and you also have taskbar you can also use this trackpad to move your cursor and you can open multiple apps in samsung dex so here you can see i open multiple apps and you can also resize these apps as well if you want to access more apps select these dot from here and here you have all the other apps available you also have all the shortcut keys available on this keyboard cover so guys this tablet has lcd display with 90 hertz refresh rate so here if i select the motion smoothness you can see we have this adaptive which is 90 hertz and then we also have this standards which is 60 hertz this tablet also has vision booster technology for outdoor visibility and then we also have the ip68 water and dust resistant technology in this tablet the next feature is about productivity mode so if i bring down this quick panel and then if i scroll here you see this option of modes so if i select this modes option and then i select this productivity mode so once you turn on the productivity mode everything become grayscale restrictions apply on different apps that are not related to my studies notifications will turn off so i can focus only on my studies if i turn off uh, this 
productivity mode then everything will go back to normal mode so here you can see everything is now in normal mode so how to enable this productivity mode so first of all go to the settings and then go to the modes and routines and here you can add new mode and you can customize all the settings the next feature is about widgets. So here you can see I can control my widgets directly from my home screen. So here I have this gallery widget. I can switch between different images. And then here I have this important task widget. I can also select my task directly from this widget. And then we have this battery widget. Then I have this screen time widget. And here I have this Spotify widget. So if you want to add the widgets, just press and hold on your home screen like this. And then select this widgets option so here you have a lot of widgets option so you can select any of these widgets that are related to productivity or related to your studies and then you can also customize these widgets as well so guys this is for today's video please like this video and please subscribe to my channel thank you very much